lot of young people that I have asked, well, what, what, what's attractive to you about Braddock? And do you know what they say? It's the people, the spirit of the people. Everything is special about Braddock. Braddock uh, is its history is special. The fact that the future is not written is special. Um, the fact that it's, uh, it's changed so much in all these years is special. In New York, you never, at least I didn't really ever feel like I knew my neighbor. And I didn't really know a lot of people that were different than me. Here, I just interact with so many different kinds of people every day different ages, different backgrounds, different cultures, different, just everything. So um, it's much richer here, I think, that, that kind of diversity. Well, I, th I think I had a pretty good life in Braddock because I came here at the end of fifth grade, and where I lived before in McKeesport, I didn't really think of a community like in the way that I do now. It was just somewhere I lived. And now working at UIT, that means a lot more to me. I noticed, I noticed more, people are more friendly. Like, about like, uh, I was just talking about this not too long ago. Uh, like, two years ago, two years ago, you couldn't walk around with a camera and videotape or interview. Like, you want to interview somebody for something that's going to benefit the community. They don't want to get interviewed. Uh, nowadays, you don't even have to really ask them. Like, there's a camera where people come up and speak what they got to say. And that just really says something because when, whenever we can get stuff transferred from video to like the news or video to the computer and more and more people can see it and that brings attention more and more to Braddock and it just shows that everybody's changing in one way or another. People that I know from Pittsburgh hadn't heard about the things going on in Braddock but now when I say I work in Braddock everybody's heard about what's going on in Braddock. I have multiple jobs. I work with, and my jobs are like not as linear as sometimes like I don't have like a nine to five job. I work with a group called Transformation, and we do neighborhood projects based on the creative process. And so we're really interested in bringing the artistic tools to a neighborhood and how they build a neighborhood. I have worked at several places in Braddock. I've worked for the Braddock Youth Project. I've worked for the Braddock Farm, and I also work in the Braddock Carnegie Library in the neighborhood print shop. You always start off with short films. You know, you start off films that are three to five minutes in length because it, it gives you a way to get in, get out. Uh, I did one on my grandfather's shoemaker shop. They're ready to tear it down. It was on Braddock Avenue. It's where Keystone Tire now is. And so I came home one weekend and I ended up uh, shooting shots at a film of the, the shoemaker shop and made a, a short documentary on that. Ever since I got out of college, I mean, I started teaching at different universities. I've always had my, I have a, a small company. First it was Tony Buba Film and Video, then Braddock Films, and I did freelance work. And that's, uh, freelance work gave me the opportunity to work on my own projects, but also, uh, you know, I was able to make a, a decent income doing it. I decided to stay in Braddock after college because it was just it's just so many rich stories here that I thought had to be told at that time. So I just I just had, I just stuck around, even though my brother and all my other friends moved to Los Angeles, and I ended up staying here. I work for um, Braddock Youth Project, and my job is to basically have events and stuff for the kids and do documentaries. And interviews on people and like do um we do like newspapers call with stuff doc and it basically just updates what's going on in the community and stuff. And I think it's important because people need to know what's going on around our community and also people need to see the changes that we're trying to make. A lot of people wouldn't 
help the community and try to make it work. And I feel like I'm one of the people that's trying to make it better, get to a better place. So I think I, I helped it a lot. Yeah, I think it's important for people to know that they don't have to do what they just everyone appreciating what you're doing. Let's say it's like the older people, but even like the young kids sometimes, you can really tell that they appreciate everything that you're doing for them. I really like being part of the garden team. I like knowing that we're helping the community back to buy our fresh vegetables and fruit. And it's fun. Like, you know, it's fun to be part of the garden team. Uh, I do medium brown, and it's important to me uh, because I get to show the beautiful side of Braddock and how it's not a ghost town and how it's not like all like nasty and dirty and like it's like good and creative people that live here. It's always people who aren't out there with a whole bunch of money. It's people who are working from their heart. I can remember when they first put the beautiful houses down here on the playground in Braddock Avenue and I was coming home to get my mom to church and I seen the police over there with the mayor so I pulled to the side to go over and find out what had happened and here they had, you know, really ramshackled the, the little houses and they put dirt in them and all this. So I went down to the church and I was telling them about it and so I said, well, you know one thing, I'm going to do something about that. I'm retired. So I started getting up in the morning and going up and, and sweeping out the houses. And so I got the chance to, you know, communicate with the young people. And that's one of the reasons why I think I got connected with the community center and the playground, just from the houses. I see pretty positive things coming out of Braddock all the time. Um, so in terms of giving up on BYP or giving up on Braddock, I never talk to the line. Growing up, it's not always easy, you know what I mean? When I was uh, younger, I had got shot just fooling around with the uh, wrong people. Uh, just did some things that I really wish I wouldn't have done. So that was a negative. But uh, positive is just being here each day, just being able to do what so many people that I know that aren't here right now would have wanted to do, like graduate high school, wake up every day and work in the community that raised them. And like that's the thing, I don't even feel like I was raised by my parents. I felt like the community raised me just as well as I grew into it. It was like raising me at the same time. With the change that I've seen happen, and with the change that, that I expect to see, and I'm really privileged to feel as though I'm going to get to be a part of the change, um, you know, I think the best is yet to come. When you look at Braddock historically, the population now is almost what it is before the mill was built. So we're back, before they built the mill, it was like, you know, 1,900, 2,000 people. So now it's back about 2,400 people. Maybe this is the real population that it should be. Well, it's slowly gone back a lot of it. It's And uh, people still are going to be here and there. And, um, well, everybody is like they're starting to come along a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it still has somebody to live and you know what I like. Yeah, I do. The community isn't what you see, but I do see that it's slowly you know, coming back. Just even the thought a bus stop that was going to look color over. I mean, that means a lot to my neighborhood, you know, just to see different art and things come back. That's what means a lot to me, to see my community come back to life. Really, I just want to see more, I just want to see more of the, more of the community coming together and working on projects. I mean, you got BYP, you got BYP, these are kids that are getting paid to work, but it's not always about getting paid. 
I can see houses being built, I can see businesses coming in, and I can see people again in Braddock. I see a bright future for Braddock and the stuff that's going to come out and uh, all the creative people that's going to come in. I would like to see Braddock how, how people tell me that how Braddock used to be, how my mom tells me how it used to be. In five years, I see Braddock with a whole bunch of gardens. I see it continue to improve, um, going in the direction that it's going. Uh, more people will be in, uh, a safer community, more opportunity for the rest of them. So I see it continue going in that same direction. Well, you know what? As long as people get together, there is no community that's so broken down, pulled down, that it doesn't take, it takes volunteers. And with volunteers, we can work together and pull the community together. We can bring businesses, we can bring people in here. And this place is going to be just as good as any other place. I'll be better. I just love Braddock. I love Braddock.